Hello everyone, my name is Jason Mays. I'm a developer advocate within the TensorFlow org here at Google. And today I've got Gonzalo from the TensorFlow Enterprise team. Hi Hello. Jason, how are you? Very good, thanks. So what's new in TensorFlow Enterprise? TensorFlow Enterprise is a seamless, scalable, and supported TensorFlow distribution, which is available in a variety of Google Cloud AI products. Today, TensorFlow Enterprise provides users with an optimized version of TensorFlow, which, is also, uh, which also includes a long-term version support. Awesome. TensorFlow Enterprise contains uh, custom-built TensorFlow-related packages, such as TensorFlow datasets, TensorFlow I.O., TensorFlow Probability, TensorFlow Hub, and TensorFlow Estimator. Each TensorFlow uh, Enterprise distribution uh, is anchored to a particular version of TensorFlow, and all packages are included in the open source version. TensorFlow Enterprise is available in different uh, Google Cloud AI products, such as Deep Learning Containers, AI Platform, Notebooks, and Deep Learning VM Image. TensorFlow Enterprise also provides optimizations when used with Google Cloud, uh, or the, with other Google Cloud services, such as uh, Google Cloud Storage and BigQuery. So what demos do you have in store today for us? Today, we will be installing a Deep Learning VM image. And the way we're going to do it is from the UI first. And then we also have the option to deploy a VM image from the CLI. Uh, TensorFlow uh, Enterprise Distribution, when used with GCP, provides security fixes and selected bug patches for a period of three years. All users of TensorFlow open source receive only one year of security fixes. In contrast, TensorFlow Enterprise provides three years. Let me give you an example. So TensorFlow uh, 1.15 in the open source version will release security patches for each minor version for uh, a major release for a year. In contrast, TensorFlow Enterprise will uh, give you three years of security fixes and bug patches, and all of those are part, uh, will be available in the, in the GitHub repository as open source. It's very good to have that extra support there, right? Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> and TensorFlow Enterprise is not a fork. Uh, uh, while it's available in Google Cloud products, uh, all the code is available in the TensorFlow uh, open source GitHub repository. Awesome. And we also provide a white glove service. Brilliant. So uh, what if I show you how to get started? Definitely. Let's see how we get started with this. I'm going to do a quick start demo. Uh, and we will create a, a deep learning VM image in the Google Cloud console. We're also going to launch an AI platform notebooks. And we're going to run a notebook that is downloaded from the TensorFlow website. So you guys can see how TensorFlow Enterprise is compatible with existing TensorFlow and associated packages. In this case, we're using a transfer learning uh, notebook. So we will uh, execute it. And finally, we will deploy a deep learning container. Excellent. I know a lot of people are interested in transfer learning these days. So this is very exciting. Yes. Show me more. So if we go to the um, Google Cloud Console, we're going to create a deep learning VM image. So you go to Compute Engine, VM Instances. You're going to click on Create. Then you go to the Marketplace, and you're going to look for Deep Learning VM. You're going to click on the first option and select Launch. In the Deep Learning VM, you can select if you want a GPU or you want CPU, and you can also select the TensorFlow Enterprise version. Today, we support TensorFlow 1.15 and 2.1. So in this case, we're going to create a TensorFlow 1.15 version uh, without GPUs. Uh, we're only going to have a very simple image. And just click Deploy. Lovely. And then we wait for that to fire up, I guess. <laughs> Good stuff. There's a different way to create TensorFlow mm -hmm. Enterprise uh, Deep Learning VM image, and that's via the command line. Of course, uh, yes. We create a CPU-only version, but what if we create a virtual machine with GPU and a more recent version of TensorFlow? Let me show you how to do it. So I'm using the Google Cloud Console. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that you need to define is the image family. In this case, we're going to use a TensorFlow 2 with the latest GPU version. We want to define one GPU. So we define the accelerator type, in this case, a Tesla T4. And we also want to install the NVIDIA driver automatically. This installed the NVIDIA driver and CUDA uh, latest version. And if you want to, say, uh, reduce the cost, you can add the preemptible flag, which will allow you to create an instance with a, a lower cost. And just click Enter. So we created a deep learning VM image from the UI. And we also had the option to do it from the CLI. We create TensorFlow Enterprise 1.15 from the UI and a new instance from the CLI with GPU and the latest version of TensorFlow, which is 2.1. Awesome. It's great to have so many options to do the same thing, right? Depending on what you prefer. So that's awesome. So right now, we're going to be creating a new AI Platform Notebook instance uh, with the latest version of TensorFlow Enterprise 2.1. Excellent. Let's see that. For that, you need to go to the AI Platform menu and then select Notebooks. 
create a new instance. And you can use the default options, which is TensorFlow 2.1 with one NVIDIA Tesla K80. Or you can also customize, customize this instance. In this case, I'm just going to go with the default one. I'm going to select to install the NVIDIA GPU driver automatically for me. That saves me a lot of time. And click Create. While the instance is being created, you will see that here you have the NVIDIA Tesla K80. And uh, you can also have the options to, let's say, if you want to change it in the, in the future, you can change it to a different GPU, like a, a V100 or a, or a T4. And once the instance is available, you will see the Open Jupyter Lab link enable. This takes like a few seconds. Now the, that the Open Jupyter Lab is enabled, you can just click on it, and you will see the Jupyter interface. In this case, we're going to download no Jupyter Notebook from the TensorFlow website and just upload it here. We are importing TensorFlow as DF, and you can see it's just the same mm -hmm. information as you do with regular TensorFlow. Here we have TensorFlow 2.1. So let's go to the notebook. This is a transfer learning notebook for image recognition, which uses TF Keras and TensorFlow Hub. You don't need to do any modifications to it. Excellent. It will just run right on. So I'm just going to run all cells. This notebook basically is downloading some images from a web server. Then uh, it, it uses TF Hub to uh, use transfer learning. This is an image that we're going to try to recognize. So basically, the, the example here is, is using uh, the flowers data set. We are using a TF module, uh, which is going to help us to improve the quality of our results. And then we're going to be training the model. So this model training is actually happening right now. Okay. Uh, you can see how the accuracy is increasing. We run it for two epochs just for the sake of this demo. And then later, we will plot the results. Now we can see how the loss is reduced eventually, and the accuracy increase over time. We yeah, perform some the flowers, predictions, okay. and then we can see uh, some of the results here. And this is uh, just without any modification. So the last product that uh, we have available for TensorFlow Enterprise is the Deep Learning Containers. Mm -hmm. So Deep Learning Containers provides uh, Docker containers, which are already uh, pre-installed with TensorFlow. And if you want to use TensorFlow with GPU, we also pre-install the associated uh, GPU drivers. Excellent. Let me show you how to deploy one. So this is my local environment. There's no Docker container right now. So you just need to run it as easy as this. You enter Docker run, proxying the port 8080, and I'm using the TensorFlow 2 CPU version. Because the Docker container also uh, uses the Jupyter Lab, I will be able to use my Jupyter Lab in the in my local computer. Very similar to the to the iPad from notebook. When you have deep learning containers, you have the option to deploy deep learning containers with TensorFlow Enterprise in other uh, products, such as uh, Google Cloud Kubernetes Engine, for example. So let's go and take a look. I'm going to connect to my local host. And now you can see I'm, I'm there now. Yes, and you can see how easy it is to get started with TensorFlow Enterprise in Google Cloud. Definitely. Thank you very much for the demo. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, where can I learn more information? You can go to the Google Cloud uh, website and look for TensorFlow Enterprise. And also, you can get started if you already have an account. Go to the Google Cloud Console and follow the steps we just did. I shall check that out. Mm -hmm.